Welcome to Travels Unfiltered. Today we are highlighting the top 25 things to do in Melbourne, Victoria. For more travel tips make sure to subscribe to our channel. Starting off at number 25 we recommend visiting Melbourne's iconic Luna Park. Located in the quaint seaside town of St Kilda, this is Australia's oldest and most infamous theme park. Luna Park caters to all ages with a range of rides and attractions to suit everyone from tiny tots to adrenaline seekers. Best of all, the rides that take you up high in the sky offer amazing views of the ocean stretching out beside you. We guarantee a trip to this nostalgic amusement park will leave you with a huge smile on your face. Coming in at number 24 we suggest taking a trip to Wilson's Promontory National Park. Affectionately known as Wilson's Prom, this stunning national park sits at the southernmost point of mainland Australia. Take a walk through the cool climate rainforests before having a dip in one of Wilson Prom's crystal clear beaches. This is the perfect way to escape the city during your stay in Melbourne. If you plan on only spending a short time here, we highly recommend visiting with a tour company as they will take you to all the best viewpoints and places within the park. You can find a link to our favorite tour in the description below. Coming in at number 23 we recommend participating in a true crime tour of Melbourne's eclectic suburb of Fitzroy. Melbourne is one of the safest cities in Australia, but that doesn't mean it hasn't got an interesting criminal history. If you love listening to true crime podcasts then a walking true crime tour through Melbourne's former crime district, Fitzroy, is going to be a highlight of your time in Melbourne. Check out the link to our favorite true crime tour in the description box below. Coming in at number 22 we recommend visiting the animals at Melbourne Zoo. Melbourne Zoo has been functioning for over 160 years and is home to over 250 species of animals. The zoo is set up to create an immersive experience for its visitors, so as you follow the trail of the elephants and take a trip through Lion Gorge, you'll feel like you're really walking with the animals. If you're keen to check out Melbourne Zoo head to the link in the description to purchase your ticket. Coming in at number 21 we recommend going digging for gold at Sovereign Hill. Just over an hour drive outside of Melbourne, Sovereign Hill is an outdoor living museum in the historical city of Ballarat. The town has been set up to function like a real town during the 1850s gold rush. The museum includes characters in costume and 1850s establishments such as shops and schools, making you feel like you really have stepped back in time. As Sovereign Hill is built upon an actual former gold mine, you'll also get the chance to go digging for gold while you're here. If you're interested in checking out Sovereign Hill, head to the link in the description to find our favorite tour option leaving from Melbourne CBD. Coming in at number 20 we recommend spending some time at Melbourne's closest ski resort the Lake Mountain Alpine Resort. For those visiting during the winter months between June to September, Victoria's peaks are a picturesque spot with a variety of snow sports on offer. Spend a few days learning to ski or snowboard or join a day tour to Lake Mountain Alpine Resort. You can find our favorite day tour linked in the description box of this video. Coming in at number 19 we suggest experiencing some of the best cafes Melbourne has to offer. It's no secret that Melbourne is known as the coffee capital of Australia, so while you're in the city you'll definitely want to check out the incredible selection of cafes on offer. If you're not sure which cafes you should head to, we've made a video highlighting our favorite cafes in Melbourne which you can find linked in the description box of this video. Alternatively, you can also take a guided tour which takes you to all of the best cafes. You can also find our favorite cafe tour linked in the description box of this video. Coming in at number 18, we recommend spending some time discovering the Grampians National Park. The Grampians is another incredible national park just a few hours outside of Melbourne. It is a sprawling nature reserve that holds some truly incredible waterfalls, wildlife and mountain lookouts. You'll get the opportunity to hike along stunning trails, lunch amongst kangaroos, and learn a bit of the history of this sacred Aboriginal land. There are a range of tour companies which take you here, but you can find our favorite link in the description box of this video. Coming in at number 17, we recommend admiring Melbourne's amazing street art in a guided tour. The artwork is transient, so each time you travel to Melbourne, you are bound to see something new on the familiar streets. We recommend immersing yourself in Melbourne's incredible street art by taking a guided tour by one of the city's street artists. You'll get to learn all about Melbourne's underground art scene and get an insight into the vibrant art as you wander the city's lanes. We've linked our favorite tour in the description box of this video. Coming in at number 16, we suggest spending a day at the Peninsula Hot Springs. For a truly relaxing experience, you just can't go past a dip in the serene hot 
springs of the Mornington Peninsula. These naturally warm geothermal baths offer you the chance to soothe your muscles and relax whilst looking out at the stunning views that surround you. If you're wanting a more luxurious experience, they also have a range of special treatments on offer at their on-site day spa. As the hot springs are located 90 minutes outside of Melbourne, we recommend heading there with a tour. You can find our favorite tour that leads from Melbourne CBD linked in the description box of this video. Coming in at number 15, we recommend participating in a tour of Melbourne's iconic sporting facilities. For sports lovers visiting Melbourne, you won't want to miss the chance to get an insider tour of the legendary Aussie sporting venues the city has to offer. Our favorite tour is linked in the description box of this video and includes a visit to all of Melbourne's top sporting arenas, a lap around the Formula One circuit, and beer tasting at the Stomping Ground Craft Brewery. Coming in at number 14, we recommend going on a pub crawl in Melbourne. Melbourne is well known for its fantastic bars and pubs. The only problem is that there are so many great options, making it hard to pick just a few drinking spots during your trip. Our solution, a pub crawl. Experience some of Melbourne's watering holes in a guided pub crawl. Our favorite is on the Rocks Bar Crawl which kicks off at 7.30 p.m every Friday and Saturday night. Head to the link in the description box to book your night out. Coming in at number 13, we suggest heading out of town to visit the Mornington Peninsula. If you're visiting Melbourne, we recommend adding a few extra days to your itinerary to spend in the Mornington Peninsula. Located around 75 kilometers outside of Melbourne CBD, the Mornington Peninsula is a stunning coastal region well known for its natural beauty, fresh produce, and top-class wineries. If you don't have a few days to spend in this amazing region, we recommend heading there on a day tour to experience some of the highlights of the Mornington Peninsula. You can find our favorite Mornington Peninsula tours which leave from Melbourne CBD linked in the description box of this video. Coming in at number 12, we suggest checking out Sea Life Melbourne Aquarium. This is another great family attraction which will keep you entertained during your trip to Melbourne. Melbourne's underwater zoo is an experience that the whole family will enjoy. Get up close to a mega crocodile, watch penguins play and witness the beauty of marine life all around you. While you're there, we recommend adding the surreal experience of a glass-bottom boat trip over the Oceanarium. Head to the link in the description to purchase your tickets. Coming in at number 11, we suggest going on a walking food tour. Melbourne is known for its incredible food. Melbourne hosts some of the best restaurants and cafes in the country, with a huge variety of cuisines available throughout the city. We've popped a link to our favorite food walking tour in the description below. Not only will you be able to sample some of the best food that Melbourne has on offer, but you'll also get a little history lesson on how Melbourne came to be such a popular foodie destination. Coming in at number 10, we recommend heading to the Queen Victoria Market. Market. The Queen Victoria Market is one of the most iconic landmarks in Melbourne and is the largest open-air market in the Southern Hemisphere, covering over 7 hectares. Its food hall is decked out five days a week with some of the freshest produce and tastiest treats the city has to offer. This is a great spot to head to if you're looking for souvenirs and gifts to bring back home to loved ones. If you're in Melbourne during the warmer month, we recommend heading to the Queen Victoria Summer Night Market which takes place every Wednesday from 5 to 10 p.m. If you're a foodie, you should also check out their ultimate food tasting tour. Trust us when we say, you won't regret it. You can find the link in the description box of this video. Coming in at number 9, we recommend visiting Healesville Sanctuary. Healesville Sanctuary is an immersive zoo that celebrates Australia's native animals. Healesville is less structured than a typical city zoo. Instead, you'll get the chance to walk along dirt paths through woodlands and wetlands, looking out at the animals in their natural environments. This is a must experience for any tourist visiting Australia who have a love for animals and wants to see Australian animals in their native homes. Healesville Sanctuary is approximately a one-hour drive from Melbourne CBD, so we do recommend doing this as part of a day tour, so you don't have to stress about getting there through transport or spending money on car rental. You can find our favorite day tour linked in the description box of this video. Coming in at number 8, we recommend discovering some of the incredible hidden bars Melbourne has to offer. There is something so exciting about heading to a hidden bar on a night out, the only problem is that they can be quite difficult to find. Lucky for you, we made a video listing some of our favorite bars in Melbourne which you can find linked in the description box below. Alternatively, you can also participate in a small group guided tour, which will see you having fun and making friends as you
you experience some of Melbourne's most amazing bars. You can find our favorite tour linked in the description box of this video. Coming in at number 7, we suggest admiring some of the key artworks and pieces at the National Gallery of Victoria. Victoria's National Gallery hosts some of the coolest exhibitions in the country. This is a great spot to head to on a rainy day. You'll be able to immerse yourself in the incredible work of world-renowned artists, explore their permanent collection of over 75,000 artworks, as well as the short-term installations that pass through the gallery. Most of the gallery is free to explore so this is a great spot to visit if traveling on a budget. Coming in at number 6, we recommend participating in a Yarra Valley Winery Tour. Just outside the confines of Melbourne CBD stretches the stunning Yarra Valley. This region is well known for its wineries which you can visit on a day trip or on a winery tour from Melbourne. If you are planning on exploring Yarra Valley yourself, we recommend dropping by the Yarra Valley Chocolate Tree and picking up some treats to accompany your wine. Alternatively, if you would prefer to take a guided day tour, we have linked our favorite one in the description below. Coming in at number 5, we suggest heading to the Eureka Tower and experiencing some breathtaking views of the city from the vantage point of Melbourne's Sky Deck. As the highest observation deck in the Southern Hemisphere, you're guaranteed to be in awe of the spectacular view of the city sprawling below. You can book your tickets through the link in the description box of this video. Coming in at number 4, we suggest spending some time exploring Phillip Island. Two hours south of Melbourne is the Penguin Paradise, Phillip Island. This tourist destination is beloved for its wide range of activities and things to explore. You can choose to wander through the Koala Conservation Reserve, watch the tiny fairy penguins waddle to and from their burrows, or head out onto the water for a jet boat tour of Cape Wollemi's rock formation. If you're short on time, we highly recommend heading to Phillip Island on a day trip. It would be a huge shame if you visited Melbourne and missed seeing the penguins parade at Phillip Island, it is truly a bucket list experience. Our favorite tour is linked in the description box of this video and even includes a stopover at the iconic Brighton Beach where you can see the infamous Brighton bathing boxes. Coming in at number 3, we recommend visiting Melbourne's Federation Square. Fed Square is a must-see on your trip to Melbourne, no matter what time of year you are visiting. With plenty of food and drink on offer and some of Melbourne's most exciting art galleries and installations, you'll be anything but bored. This ever-changing cultural hub is home to thousands of events each year. A very cool fact about Fed Square is that the land on which it stands has been an important gathering place for local indigenous groups for tens of thousands of years. The best part is that entry is free. There's no reason not to visit Federation Square on your next trip to Melbourne. Coming in at number 2 we suggest visiting Melbourne's Royal Botanic Gardens. Located in the heart of Melbourne CBD, the Royal Botanic Gardens are home to over 8,500 plant species from all over the world. If you need a break from the buzz of the city, but don't have the time to go on a full day trip, the Botanic Gardens make a wonderful escape. We recommend grabbing a coffee from one of the many fantastic cafes nearby to sip as you walk around the expansive gardens. Entry to the gardens is free so you don't have to worry about purchasing tickets before your arrival. Finally coming in at number 1, we recommend spending some time at the Great Ocean Road. The Great Ocean Road is an Aussie National Heritage listed 240km stretch of road from the Victorian cities of Torquay to Allensford and is known for its breathtaking coastal views and natural beauty. Experience some of Victoria's amazing attractions such as the Twelve Apostles, spot wild koalas as you walk through the Great Otway National Park Park and admire the breathtaking views of Loch Ard Gorge. If you only have time for a quick one-day visit, we highly recommend heading on Go West Tours Great Ocean Road Sunset Tour. We spent a day attending the tour and were blown away by it. You can see the tour experience from our eyes in our recent vlog which is linked in the description box of this video, along with the link to the tour. You'll definitely want to make sure you bring a camera to capture all of the stunning and breathtaking views that this tour has to offer. All these attractions have their own unique charm. To find out more about these sites, tours, and activities, head to the links in the description box of this video. If you're traveling to Melbourne and need more travel advice, like where to stay or where to eat, then make sure you check out our Melbourne playlist. With this video almost over it's time to ask you, which attractions will you be visiting on your trip to Melbourne? And make sure to leave your own recommendations for us in the comments below. As always, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more travel tips and videos, and give this video a like if you enjoyed it. See you next time!